so if you have designed your uh, the task which i have given to you if you have designed like this then it is already designed okay i will not consider this this is your xor this is your xor a and b out okay this is your xor okay and uh, if you if you if you uh, put another gate not gate okay then this is your xnor okay and this is your inverter and this is your buffer okay if someone has designed the xor with this then i will not consider because this is already planned so i want your own xor gate with more than four gates with more than four gates and i want your own xor gates xnor gate with more than five gates okay then one day you will get a feeling of engineering otherwise you will not get a feeling of engineering okay if something is already designed and if someone is as uh, someone has made this on notebook and you have noted down and you have make your notes then this is not engineering okay i am telling you very frank okay this is not engineering okay so again i am okay i am i am not uh, closing that task okay you all have to design you take your time okay you take your time and design don't worry okay right now Rishwita, how many we are? Like we are four, forty people, right? Total. Yes, sir. Okay, so one has how many have not joined? I think two have not joined. Yes, sir. Okay, so please check and let me know. Okay, chalo. Let's move to the second thought. Okay, so uh, today in second brainstorming session. See, digital is very digital sir, is very strong. Yeah, please. Sir, we yes, have please. designed another gate, sir. I mean, another another logic we use, sir. But by shorting, we did it, sir. No, but shorting is not allowed. Yes, correct. Okay. But shorting is not allowed. Correct. Yeah, sir. But not... it is not uh, fixed designs. We did not do, sir. Ha! It's okay. But then also shorting is not allowed. Okay, sir. Okay, I understand. You have used, you have, you have designed. Uh, you have designed in different way, just like I mentioned in my previous thing. Okay, but then also sorting is not allowed, because if you use sorting, that means you are making things easy. That's why. Okay, no worry. I am not considering that task right now. Please, everyone, please design your own gates. Okay, without sorting. Take your time, okay. I am there to help you. Otherwise, uh, in the last, uh, you will not get the certificates. Sir. Okay. Any anything you want to say? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Maheshwari. Sir, sir, I am implementing XNOR, NAND gate, and NOR gate. Okay, uh, I am using sorting and XNOR uh -huh. and NAND gate. Hello. Sir? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. You are. I am implementing X XNOR and NAND gate, sir. Uh huh. And and or get also. Ah, uh, without shorting or with shorting. Without shorting. Without shorting. Good. Good. So 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 do one thing. Okay. Once the tool is ready, then I will ask you to design all these things on your tools also. So that will be saved in your project. And but by the time, uh, you can save in your notebook also. Okay. And. Uh, uh, I will also ask you to upload the photo of each and everything, right? Whatever you have designed, you have to take a photo and then you have to upload in a drive also to get a certificate. Okay, so good. Uh, if you have tried, good. If you have not tried, please take your time and try. Okay, so now let's start with the second session, brainstorming two. Okay, so I'm making some circuits. 
in brainstorming two session this is also based on universal gates okay nand and nor okay so this session is also based on universal gates nand and nor so let me make one circuit i'm making some random circuit correct like this some random circuit This is out zero and this is out one. A, B, C. Okay. And uh, like this, like this. Uh, here is inverter. And this is your XOR. Okay, so this is out one. Okay, some random circuit, correct? A, B, C. Okay. And A, B, C, out 0 and out 1. Okay. So now what I will do here, I will write the, or I will write some input here, 101, 110, 111, 010. Okay. Suppose that this 4 value I have, given okay so one zero one okay suppose that this first sequence okay i am putting first sequence on this circuit suppose that i am putting one zero one okay if i will calculate the output coming from each gate i will get suppose that i am getting zero one okay let us suppose something we will get right either we will get one one or either we will get uh, zero one or I will get 1, 1, whatever, or I will get 0, 0. Okay. Now, second input, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. And after putting this 1, 1, 0, we are getting here 0, 0. Suppose that. Okay. And this 1, 1, 1, I am getting 1, 1. Okay. And this 0, 1, 0, I am getting 1, 0. Let us suppose. Okay, so this is what? This is your input. A, B, C is your input. And you have two output. Output 0, output 1. Okay, and you have implemented this input in one circuit. Correct? Now, why it is called a brainstorming session? Now, that part is going to start now. Okay, so what I will do now here. Let me remove this. Okay. Okay. So now what I will do here, I will Now I will remove this logic. Okay. So generally, what you have learned in your B tag, something like truth table, correct? Something truth table you have learned in your B tag. Okay. The truth uh, in B tag you have learned K map that you have some input, then you start solving those K map and you are getting some output and you are implementing those output in a circuit, correct? So what is my objective is here? Okay, if I am taking any interview, okay, so what I do here, I I generally gave one circuit to the candidate and I ask them to make the circuit without using the K map. Okay, now you people will will have a thought. He, we are we are using this k map to solve the circuit oh, sorry to 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 solve the k to solve the truth table 
but why sir is taking uh, asking us to design the circuit without a k map okay because if you are using the k map it is just like a method okay it is just like a method you are solving with help of some method okay k map is important it is required okay because to make the things easy to make the thing fast okay but at a time of learning when you are at very initial stage okay if you start following the method every time okay you will start stopping your using your brain because when you are following the method you are using your brain okay i am not saying that you are not using your brain but you are using your brain at very easy level okay this will come first then this will come second and this will come third and this will come fourth and you are following one step step by step you are not using your mind okay but when i ask you to design the circuit without help of k map okay then you are using 200% of your brain okay so now this is your input now this is your output okay now you have to design your circuit with help of three method with the help of three type of gates combinations okay first one is design you have a input you have a output you have a input you have a output means you have to design the circuit with help of only nine gates okay or with the help of only nor gates or you can use both nand and nor no other gates okay or you can use nand plus nor plus uh, other universal gates other non universal gates non universal gates okay use any option right use any option use any option right to design the circuit okay so this is called development of the logic what i found in 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 uh, engineering colleges especially in electronics uh, not engineering college uh, what i found in um, in in uh, engineering students okay actually they are lack of development developing the logic okay uh, they always mention sir uh, how to design these thing what is the impact etc etc okay so basically this brainstorming session too will help you to develop the logic okay so either use one in nand gates okay how to use okay let's use let's take one example okay let's take a nand gate okay let's design this circuit with help of nand gates okay so take eraser let me solve this okay so i i have three input 1 0 and i want two output 0 1 okay so let's see nand like this i am giving here uh 1 0 i am getting uh 1 and i am giving here 1 then i want uh, first output to be 0 okay then what i'll do here uh let me connect uh, 0 okay i am getting my first output 0 correct right now 1 so can i connect this with this so i am getting 0 1 okay out 0 and out 1 okay so first thing so first i got it first logic i got it now i don't have to change this we don't have to change this using on the same circuit okay with the help of same gates without changing right without changing without changing these gates i have to develop the logic for this 110 okay i have to develop the logic for this 110 that means if i am giving 101 i am getting 01 on the same circuit if i am giving 110 i should get 0 0 okay i should get 0 0 okay same circuit okay before that if you just remember before uh, 
erasing this uh, this circuit, the previous one, I have made some random circuit. And on that random circuit, if I'm giving 1, 0, 1, I'm getting 0, 1. If I'm giving 1, 1, 0, I'm getting 0, 0. If I'm again giving 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, I'm getting again 0, 1. Okay. On the same circuit. Correct. So on the same circuit, if I'm giving all these input uh, like many times, I'm getting same output. Okay. Now, I have designed one. Now, I got the output for first one. Now, let's try for 110. Okay. That means Okay. Now, let's see 110. Okay. 1100. This 0 will come here 1. And what output I want? I want output 0. Correct. But now I am getting 1 here. That means I have to add some more circuit here, but those circuit should not should not impact on my first first input output. Okay, means to to need zero to want uh, means I want zero here. Okay, I want zero here. So, but I am getting one here. That means I have to add some more logic here. But adding those logic should not impact on my output of my first one. Okay, so you have to think such logic again that whenever I am giving 101, okay, I should get 01. And whenever I am giving 110, I should get 00. Okay, so let's see what I can do here because this is not an easy task. Okay. And that is why the electronic engineers are there to make the things easy. Okay. So you have to think, you have to take time, give time. Right. So do one thing. Let's. Okay. So 110, one, I should get zero. So can I connect uh, like this? I'm getting here zero. Okay, zero zero. I'm one one zero. This zero one. And uh, if I connect uh, zero one, I'm getting one. And if I connect here like this, I'm getting one one zero. First output I got it. A second output also I should. If I connect like this, then I'm getting zero. Okay, you have designed the output for the second one. But you have to make sure on the same circuit, if I am giving 101, if I am giving 101, I should get 01. Okay, so this is my task. Is that clear to everyone? Sure. Yes, sir. Everyone? Yes. Okay, so what challenge you will face here? The challenge is, sir, I am able to design this first, this second, but I am going for this third. My first one is not coming. Sir, I am able to make it first. Then my second is not coming. Sir, I when I able to make again first two and three, I am not getting the fourth one. So this is the challenge you will face here. Okay. And to solve this challenge, what things you have to give? You have to give time. You have to understand more. And you have to use more hit and trial, more hit and trial. Take your time. Take day one, day two, day three, day four. But finally, come up with the solution. Don't give up. Okay. So what interviewer is looking? Interviewer is looking the efforts you are putting. Interviewer is looking that, okay, you know the concept, but you know, but you don't know how to make the logic. Okay. So interviewer is looking both like if you like, if you remember any programming, then there are two things in programming, syntax and programming logic. So you know the syntax, but you don't know how to use those syntax and make the logic, then you will, you will not get any selection. So same here also. You know the concept, but you are not trying. Okay. So you now you will say, okay, sir, I got 0, 0. Now let's try 101 on the same circuit. Let's try 101. 
on the same circuit. Okay, whether I am getting zero one or not. Okay, so let's try. Let me change the color here. Okay, zero. Or uh, let me change the color black here. So what is my input here? One zero one. One zero one. So one zero means one. This one is going here, giving zero. The same circuit, right? This now, this is coming from here. One zero one means one. Okay, and now this one and zero means one. So okay, one zero one zero one zero means one. Okay, so you want zero, but you are getting one. You are getting, sorry, yes, any correction? Yes, sir. Ah, correct me if I'm wrong. Or let me try again. If I, maybe I've done some mistake, then let me try. Okay, let me try here. Okay, let me connect. Okay, so now let me try this one zero one. Okay, one one zero for one one zero, I am getting two output zero zero. Okay, for, but now let me try for one zero one because earlier I able to make it one zero one with two or three gates. But now to design this 110, I have used four gates. Okay. Now on the same circuit, I have to give 101 and make sure I should get 01. Okay. So let's try. What is my input here? 110. One, okay. 101. 110. One, my input is 110. One, okay. My input is 110. One, Second one. Okay. My input is one one zero. One one means zero. This zero will come here. The zero and zero will give one. Okay. This this one will go here. Or this connection. This one. Okay. This one. This is zero. Zero one means one. One. Now this one is coming here. One and one means zero. So I got zero. Okay. I got first one, second. Okay. Now let's see whether I'm getting zero, zero or not. Okay. Whether I'm getting zero, zero or not. This one. Okay. I got a zero, zero also. Directly I make it from here. Correct? Directly I make it from here. Okay. So you can see I made two logic. Right? If I give 110 I'm giving. Now I have to give 101, right? 101, sorry. 101. 10. On the same circuit, 101. I tried with the second one. Now I will try with 101. This is 101. Okay. Let's try again with black pen. 101. 101. Okay. So 10 will give 1. This 1, 1 will give 0. Okay. Now what? 0. Or this 1 is coming here. 10 will give 1. Now this, this one coming from here, right? This zero one will give what one? So I'm getting output one now. And what you, what I want, I want zero. Okay. So you have to again give some time and you have to make sure that you need zero, zero, zero whenever you are giving one zero one or one one zero or one 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 or zero one zero. 
ओके तो इज दिस क्लियर एवरी वन गुड गुड सो डू वन थिंग प्लीज प्लीज नोट डाउन दिस टू टेबल एवरी वन प्लीज नोट डाउन दिस टू टेबल एंड विदाउट के मैप विदाउट के मैप Without K map, please design this. Without K map, please design this. Design this circuit for given inputs. Okay. So in last two class, if you have remember that uh, I am focusing on basic of gates, but uh, every time I am trying to make something from those gates. Okay. so internship whenever you are going for any internship or when you are coming for any internship please remember no one in a company has a time to train you okay they are expecting you okay you know all these basic steps okay what they will give you if they are working on some project they will give you some particular modules okay okay uh, this is the input this is the output this is the input and this is the output now please design it Please make the logic for this. If you know the C, if you know the C plus plus, if you know the very log PSDL, if you know the digital hardware design, if you know whatever uh, in VLSI or in embedded. Okay, so this is for actual internship. Okay, so I am what I am doing here. I will also give you the internship project. Okay, whatever the project I have shown you there. Okay, those projects are actually a uh, real projects. They are not like uh, just a uh, Simple project. They are the real project, and those project I will give to you to make some circuit logic. But before that, you should know how to make the logic. Okay. So this is a brainstorming session two. Okay. Now let's move to the another topic. Okay. so let me talk about project okay let me talk about first project because if you don't understand what we have to do after learning this then there is no interest you should know what i have to design after learning this then you always have a interest in your mind okay mere i have to design those thing okay so let's use same thing here same same funda here so my project is here sign calculator okay everyone knows calculator but why i have mentioned sign here can anyone tell me why i have mentioned sign here why i have used word sign here can anyone tell me come on why i have used sign here what sign here guys you have just finished your uh, second year third semester Okay, no problem. The result is based on the input, so negative or positive. Sir. Yes, correct. Value of correct, correct. So there are two things. One is unsigned, and another is signed. Okay, unsigned means your input A and B both are positive. Okay, every time they are positive, like four into five. Twenty four plus five. Twenty sorry four plus five nine. Okay four minus this into and plus are your operators your your operations. Okay, but they both are positive. They both are positive. They both are positive. Okay plus four is also positive and minus for five is also positive. So four minus five minus one. Okay, and what is sign here? Sign means your A and B. Any input, any input polarity is sign. Negative, then it is called sign. For example, minus four plus five. Okay, minus four 
plus 5. And here, sine of 4 is not positive. Here, sine of 4 is minus. But operation is addition. But operation is addition. So sine minus 4. So what you will do here, you will minus means your minus, this will become minus 4 plus 5 means plus 1. Simple mathematics. Okay. So we have to perform the same thing. We have to perform the same thing with the help of our digital gates. Okay. Now, for example, minus 4, minus 5. Minus 4 and minus 5. Okay. Now, if you now here, this is input A and this is input B. Correct. So the sign of 4 is minus and the sign of B is minus. Both are minus. Okay. So this will be minus 4. If you if you go for a simple mathematics, this will become simple 5 and the output is plus 1. Okay, so actually uh, it looked very easy here, but when we go for the, the designing, okay, it will really take your time and it will really impact your mind also. Okay, and you have something in return that you have designed. Sir, I have designed a sign calculator, then interviewer will ask, okay, what is the problem? What problem you have faced to design this logic? And if you have designed from your own, then you will say, sir, I stuck here. Okay, sir, I stuck here, I stuck here, I stuck here. Okay, then what solution you have? Okay, then you will mention, sir, to solve this, I have performed this thing. To solve this, I have performed this thing. So in this way, interviewer will convince and they will give you the job. So this thing is applicable in every domain. Either you are an experienced person or either you are a fresher, everything, right? So this is the one thing, like one more example I can give you. Minus 4 and minus 5 into, what will be the output? Minus 20 or plus 20? Plus 20. Plus 20. Okay, very good. Plus 20. Okay, so this, okay, so believe me, you have to design, okay, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I will share you some screenshot, like, uh, just like you people from second year and third year, they have designed this sand calculator and they have posted their design on LinkedIn, okay, on LinkedIn, just to develop their network, okay, people start following those people who are putting, who are pushing their design on network. Okay. So, is this clear to everyone, your project? Everyone, is this clear? Yes, sir. What we have to design? Any Anyone having yes. any doubt, please ask. Don't shy. It's clear, sir. Everyone? Anyone? Everyone? Okay. Nobody. Come on. Let's focus on. Okay. So I'm asking the basic things to develop. Okay. Suppose that I, I came to your organization and I came for an internship. Okay. Now I have given you such problem. Okay. Now tell me. Now let me know to design this thing. Okay. What inputs you required? Okay, you have two inputs, A and B. What else you required? Can anyone? What else you required? Because this is not the end of this. This is just an idea. But to make this project, what 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 is the specification? Okay, can anyone? Can anyone try? Come on. Sunny, you want to Sunny, you are you are speaking something? So enable if you're using combination. Okay, enable. Very good. What else? What else? Okay, you are getting my point. Okay, to design this logic, what inputs we required? And what outputs we required? Okay. No, no worry. Okay, just remember this. Okay, no worry. Just remember this.
okay suppose that we have to make the logic inside this i don't know my logic anyone i don't know how to design okay but as an engineer what input is required first input is a second input is b okay i am discussing your project my dear be focus here okay i promise you in the starting that i will make you to think like an engineer okay if you have if you have just joined this college just to take a job in it or non or non core okay no problem okay you can take the job anywhere but everyone is looking for how logical you are okay so if you are going for non core companies also and if you have designed such thing in your resume and you have push all these thing in your linkedin okay and if any interviewer is coming from any domain and if he or she will ask okay my dear what you have designed in second year what you have done in second year third year and you have if you have shown the working then definitely if it is non core opportunity they will definitely take because if you are serious in your second year if you are serious in your second year and definitely you will be serious in my domain also okay so just this is a simple psychology so a and b okay to input a and b and let's take it of four bit four bit four bit means if i am giving a okay if i am giving a four okay that that then it is in bit is 0 1 0 0 and if i am giving b 5 that means 0 1 0 1 okay so i am pushing my input in terms of bit okay four input sorry four bit two input of four bit a and b okay now now just remember this one minus 4 plus 5 okay plus 1 just remember this operation right so in your circuit in your project you have to implement all four different types of combinations of of sign for example for example if a and b okay if you are giving 0 0 okay then either both are positive either one is positive one is negative either this one is negative and this one is positive or both are negative okay these four combination will come if you are going for the sign operation and if you are going for the uh, unsign operation then only this will come in picture only this plus plus and if you are going for sign operation then this four will come okay then let's take sign 0 and sign 1 so this sign 0 and sign 1 is actually representing a and b the sign 0 and sign 1 actually representing a and b the operation sign operation of a and b okay so again a a a b A B and S zero and S one. Okay, this I am talking about this S zero S one. So when I am giving S zero zero zero, that means my my both A and B are positive. Means the operation of both my input is unsigned zero zero. At zero zero both are positive. At zero one A is positive and B is negative. Okay and At minus plus, that means this is positive and this is negative. Correct. And this at minus minus, that means when I'm giving one one, that means both my A and B is negative. Okay. So let's take an example of this. Okay. Here will be any operation. like this second one plus 4 this this one is operation okay i am not talking about operation plus 4 minus 5 okay then minus plus minus 4 plus 
plus 5. And then minus minus means minus 4 minus 5. Okay, is this clear, everyone? This yes, particular sir. part, sign part is clear, correct. Okay. Good. Okay. Paru, please take the attendance. Okay, now, now, now let's talk about mode. What is mode? I'm talking about, now I'm talking about mode means operation. That is the addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. Okay, so I'm talking about four operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay, so this is clear, this is clear, this is clear, this is clear. Now for, for M0, M1, So for M0, M1, if I'm giving 0, 0, okay, that means I'm doing addition. Okay, so just recall minus 4 and minus 5. They are the two input with two sign operation, means 1, 1, S0, S1, 1, 1. Okay, I'm giving 1, 1, that's why I'm getting both minus, minus, okay. And if I'm giving 0, 0, that means this is positive. That means the operation we have to perform is addition. Okay, then at 0, 1, at 0, 1, I'm giving minus, that is operation is minus, and 1, 0, multiplication, and 1, 1, division. Okay, so this is the operation we have performed with the M0, M1. So you have now six input, A, B, S0, S1, and M0, M1. Okay, now the last input is reset. In every calculator, you have one, one clear pin or a reset pin. One clear pin or a reset pin. So you press the reset, you press the clear, you press the reset, or you press the clear and you will get everything at zero. Okay, so with four input, you will get at least uh, seven to eight output. Okay, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven and eight. So what you have to do here, all my dear, engineering students you have to design the project what is if you have you have to design the logic of sign calculator and this is called internship i am giving you the real internship okay i am giving you the real project okay you can do a lot of things once you are okay with the making the logic Okay, so in, in internship, what is actually required? You require uh, input from your colleagues, from your seniors, and I, and you should know the outputs. So these are my outputs. So like my input is, so if I am giving here minus four plus five, that means A is I am giving four, B is I am giving five. Okay, then what? Minus four means, S0 is 0, sorry, S0 is 1. S0 is 1 because minus 1, 0. That means A is negative and P is positive. This is 1, this is 0. And addition means you are giving 0, 0. Okay, and this is disable, 0. And you should get output plus 1 on this. Plus 1 on this means... 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So I should get output like this. Okay. Is this clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Please ask any doubt. Please don't shy. 
idea. Because I am telling you very openly, these things are not easy and these things are not touched by uh, by anyone unless and until he or she is from industry. Sir, but in the result, we may get the positive or negative value also. We will get a result if it is, if I am getting minus 5 and plus 3, that is minus 2, correct? Yes. Then in that case, my operation will be the sign. And I will get the output of minus 2, binary of minus 2. You are getting my point? Binary of yes, minus 2. Okay. So that will, so that is what I am here to train you, right? How to, how to perform these things. So what you will learn. Okay, to design this project, to design this project, what you will learn. To design this project, you will first learn what you should, what you require. You require adder. Okay, you require subtractor. Okay, you require circuit of multiplier. You require circuit of divider. These are your four major components. All are of 8 bits. Initially, you need a 4 bit, but actually you need a 8 bits. You will come to know why. That second major component is 2S complement. 2S complement circuit. Second major component is 2S complement circuit. And then to support this, you need MUX. Or you need, maybe you can use DMUX. You, you can use decoder. You can use comparator. Now tell me what is left. This is your all combination, right? What is left? Nothing. Only one thing is left. That is called encoder. We don't use encoder here. Your encoder is having a different purpose. So see, so with the help of this thing, your digital combination will become solid and you have two or three projects in your Resume as well as in your LinkedIn. Okay, plus you will also learn how to solve the different different interview questions based on adder, subtractor, multiplier, divider, 2S complement, mux, demux, decoder, and comparator. Okay, so this is the combination of all different components, and then you have a project starting with sign calculator, then you can design any logic. Okay, then you can design any logic of uh, para of uh, your uh, geometry if you know geometry if you still remember geometry if you still remember algebra then you can design any equation with the help of this combination circuit okay so this is all today so everyone uh, if you have any doubt please ask here or should i close this session no doubt no doubt, sir. Okay, good. So please come with your second assignment. You have a first assignment. You guys are totally free sitting in home. Okay, please give two to three hours daily. Then only uh, you are able to clear the written examination. If you are not able to clear the written exam to get a certificate, I will not allow anyone from my academy to give the certificate. Okay, because I don't want, if you are using my name, uh, Fine Training Academy, then I don't want, uh, you should, uh, like, I don't want something like that. If anyone asks question, okay, what is MUX? You should not say, sir, I don't remember. Okay, you have to reply the MUX in better way. Then only they will say, okay, that guy is from such academic, good academic. Okay, she or he knows the good thing. So that is why I am taking the written test. That is why I am taking the interview. And based on the project, that is why I am giving you the certificate. Okay, so this certificate is not under the table. You will not get any certificate like this. You have to perform okay you have to get it from your own hard work okay so okay after this uh, i will start uh, the main subjects which i mentioned in the sheet so maybe i am giving you another one day okay tomorrow by tomorrow i want at least 60 to 70 percent of my assignment to be done okay then from saturday onwards saturday sunday we have a regular classes in, uh, including next weekend also, or next week also. Okay, then I will take the regular class from 5 p.m. to 6. Okay, so thank you, everyone. Bye. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye.